hello friends welcome to day ops tutorial and in this video lecture we are going to learn docker registry so docker registry is a uh, used to upload your own custom image and that image will be used by other developer or if you are working on the ci cd pipeline so after the build is completed there is an image will be generated and that image you want to upload into the some uh, repository so you can use the docker registry so instead of uploading the image into the docker hub we can use docker registry to upload your own custom images okay so in this video lecture we are going to learn how to set up the docker registry and how to upload the image into the docker registry and how to pull the image from the docker registry so let's start with this so we have already document for how to set up the docker registry so So here the documentation is here. So first we have to create a one uh, Docker Compose YML file. In that YML file we have to download the two images. The first image is Docker registry and second image is the front end for the Docker registry. So front end is used because we can visualize the how many uh, images are present in my Docker registry. So here we can create a one Docker registry service and the image is docker registry uh, 2 and the container name is registry and the port for the registry is required always 5000 and we are set up the restart policies always and we have defined the volume here for the front end we are using the docker registry ui as a service and we have defined the image then we have to define the container name is register uh, registry ui and this required a port number 8080 or you can use any other ports and same we have used the restart policy always and we have set up here the environment for docker registry and 5000 port okay so let's copy this uh, yml file and go to the, your terminal and uh, create a one folder is compose create a one yml file and uh, paste this content here so make sure this content will be proper or there is no error in that one okay so once you uh, completed these things so we have to create a container so we have to use a docker compose up command to uh, download the images and create the container so this is the command for the docker compose and we are using minus d to do in the background so we can see here is downloading the image from the docker hub repository and once it is downloaded it will create the container so we can see here one image is downloaded and the front end images is download going to download yeah so both images downloaded now they have created the container so if you want to see the container we have the command is docker ps so we can see here the both container docker registry and front end container is running fine so let's clear here and go to the our browser copy the ip address and port number 8080 so we can see here this is the docker registry front end and browse the repository so there is no images there okay so now we have to go to the, our terminal again and docker registry is uh, required a secure connection but we are using the http connection so for that one we have to create a one config file so that allowed to our registry is an insecure format so for that one we have to go to the documentation and we have to create a one daemons file in this location etc docker daemons.json okay and in that file we have to copy this json and here you have to define your ip address so So our IP address is 
copy this okay and save this file okay now we have to restart our docker so we have the command for stop and start here because we have to change the docker configuration so docker need to be restart okay so docker is stop now now we have to start the docker okay so docker is this start now we have to check docker is working or not so docker is working but we have to provide some permission here okay so now again run the docker command so here docker is running fine now we have to check again docker compose up minus d if it is not working then this will be start so already is up to date clear now we have to download the one image from the docker hub repository and uh, that image we have to push into the our repository so for that one we have to download the image is docker pool nginx so there is no local images present so it will download from the docker hub repository okay so let's see here docker images okay so here image is present now we want to update the tag so docker image the command for updating the tag is docker image tag then we have to provide the image name then we have to provide the where it will be uploaded so we have to copy our ip address port number port number is always 5000 because is the registry address and the provide the name of image and provide the version so this is the nginx version 1 and this is the image from using this image the tag is created okay so if you want to see so the tag is created here okay now i want to upload this image to our docker rep uh, repository registry so for that one we have the command is docker image push and we have to copy the image name so we can see here the image is going to push in our repository in this address so it's completed now go to the, our browser copy this ip address port number 8080 browse repository and we can see here the image nginx1 is updated now if you want to pull the image we can use this command and download this image into the our local machine so first of all we have to remove the image so we can understand how is taking the image from the docker registry so the command is docker rmi minus f forcefully remove this image is clear now we have to download this image so we have to copy this command and here we have to change our ip address because the registry address is here this and once we execute this command so this image will be downloading from our registry not from docker hub repository so we can see here is downloading from our registry so this is the tutorial for like how to set up the registry and how to upload the image to the docker hub registry and from there how to get the image so in the next video lecture we will check how to make the secure connection in the docker registry okay so thank you guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming videos thank you